The editorial team would like to spend greetings and thanks to the loyal viewers who have always been interested in accompanying 24 hours channel. In today's news bulletin on the political and security situation in the country and internationally, we will update you with the hottest news that has occurred in the past 24 hours channel in the upcoming minutes. First, let's start with the main news. Dear valued audience, last night, a typhoon warning was issued as Typhoon Dok Suri is expected to make landfall. The storm center is currently located about 380 kilometers southeast of Elu Anbi, over the ocean. Lak Nha and Han, the technical director of the Central Meteorological Bureau, stated that the warning area along the coast still includes Hangzhuan, Bindong, and Daidong. Strong gale first stand winds have been observed in Lanvu and the Hangzhuan Peninsula, with waves reaching about 4 meters in Lanvu and Daidong. Wind speeds from level 9 to May 10 occur in the north and southeast of Tantruk, along the coast of the Hangzhuan Peninsula, Kimmon, and Madu. Tonight, the accumulated rainfall from Holayang to the Daidong mountain range is estimated to be between 700 and 1,000 mm, with the highest amounts expected in northern Taiwan. The main island of Taiwan is expected to gradually escape the influence of the storm over the next two days. The Central Meteorological Bureau has issued a typhoon warning for the mainland, indicating that the storm center is about 380 kilometers southeast of Elo Anbi, moving in a northwest direction with a speed of 10 to 13 kilometers per hour. The maximum near center wind speed is 48 meters per second, or approximately 173 kilometers per hour, equivalent to typhoon level 15. The instantaneous maximum wind gust speed is 58 meters per second, or about 209 kilometers per hour, equivalent to typhoon gust level 17. Lack and HA in hand, the technical official of the Meteorological Bureau, mentioned that strong gale force 10 winds have been observed in Lanvu and the Hangzhuan Peninsula. It is estimated that Lanvu and Green Island will experience strong gale force 10 to 11 winds, and intensity levels 9 to 10 winds may occur in Kimmon and Matu. Wave heights of around 4 meters have been observed in Lanvu and Daidong. The public is advised to be cautious of waves and avoid going to the beach for activities. Regarding the rainfall trend, Lak N. H. A. has stated that the amount of rainfall will gradually increase in the eastern half, after a night of easing, and there will be light rain in the larger Taipei area or mountainous regions. This evening, the eastern half will experience noticeable rain, with heavy rain or locally heavy rain in some areas. In the northern and southern mountainous regions, intermittent rain is expected from this evening. Rainfall hotspots will include the Huadong and Kaibing mountainous regions. Accumulated rainfall from the Huadong mountainous region to the Daidong area could reach 700 to 1,000 mm, and the flat Kaibing area could receive 400 to 700. Typhoon Dok Suri is approaching, and winds and rain in Daidong continue to intensify. At 11 o'clock noon today, a tree on lane 109 of North Chinke Wai Road behind Liu Mountain collapsed onto three cars and a house's air conditioner. Fortunately, there were no casualties. The Taipei City Office has dispatched staff to assist with handling and cleaning up the situation. The Taipei City government mentioned that due to continuous rain, the root system of the trees on Liu Mountain slope was destabilized, causing a tree to fall and damage the air conditioning units of the three parked vehicles and a house at the scene. Typhoon Dok Suri is currently in the middle stage, and the Central Meteorological Bureau has issued a mainland typhoon warning this afternoon. This is also the first typhoon to make landfall in Taiwan in the past four years. The Meteorological Bureau predicts that the strongest winds and rain will occur over the next two days. Lack NHA in hand, the technical director of the Central Meteorological Bureau, added that in addition to the Hongzhuan and Bindong Peninsula, this report has also included the Daidong area within the scope of the mainland warning. The Central Meteorological Bureau issued the mainland typhoon warning at 2.30 p.m. today. Dok Suri is moving northwestward from the southeast of Elu Anbi at a speed of 13 km per hour. The average radius of gale level 7 winds is 300 km. The Meteorological Bureau stated that the possibility of it intensifying into a super typhoon cannot be ruled out. It is estimated that from tonight until tomorrow, Lenvu Green Park and Green Island may experience strong gale first 10 to 11 winds. Additionally, in the northern part of Tantruk, 
The Honshuan Peninsula in the southeast, Kim Mon, and Matu. Stronger gale force winds from level 9 to May 10th occur, and even stronger gusts could happen in the inland northern regions. The Meteorological Bureau forecasts the amount of rainfall in the next 24 hours. The rainfall hotspot focuses on Wadong and Jiaping, with accumulated rainfall estimated to be around 400 mm to 700 mm in Weilin County and Tain County, 200 mm to 350 mm in Yilin County, and about 200 mm to 400 mm in Jiaping County. Lanyu is also experiencing waves higher than 4 meters. Lack and HA and Han mentioned, Wednesday and Thursday are the days when the storm is closest to us. Tomorrow, the wind and rain in the eastern half of Hangzhuan will strengthen. On the following day, apart from continuous wind and rain in the eastern half, the south will also experience increasing winds and rain. The wind and rain in Banho and Kimmon may gradually intensify in the latter half of the day until nightfall, and some indirect wind and rain may also occur in other central and northern areas tomorrow. The Meteorological Bureau reminds that if there is no rain today, the central area in Kimmon should pay attention to high temperatures. By Friday, the prediction is that the wind and rain from the storm will gradually diminish, but heavy rain in Kimmon and Banho will persist until nightfall before gradually easing. Extreme weather has hit Beijing, with sudden heavy rain accompanied by strong gusts and thunderstorms. Last night in Beijing, heavy rain poured down unexpectedly, accompanied by strong gusts and thunderstorms. Frequent lightning illuminated the night sky. Rare strong winds also hit thatched geotrain, uprooting trees and blowing off rooftops. On the same evening, thatched geotrain city in Hebei province unexpectedly experienced a fierce storm, with locally maximum wind speeds reaching level 11. Roofs were torn off, trees were uprooted, and a car was hit by a fallen tree. A video clip shows how strong winds carried sand and rocks, and debris from buildings flew through the air. This sky was obscured by dark clouds, turning day into night within seconds. Residents of Thatch Geotrain commented, Look, it's only been six hours since morning, and it's already like this. And the wind, it's terrifying at night. Oh my god. I can't keep my eyes open. Look at the wind blowing through the streets. Yes, it's really frightening. Ladies and gentlemen, extreme weather continues in China. At least 12 people have died in recent days due to heavy rain-induced floods in the southwestern, northwestern, and northeastern regions of China. Meanwhile, many provinces in the eastern region are still facing the threat of intense heat and high temperatures. On Saturday afternoon, Shanghai experienced heavy rain, and the sky seemed to suddenly crack open. From Thursday evening to Friday morning, heavy rain inundated the western part of North Huang Kuang Autonomous County in Sichuan, causing landslides and affecting 13 towns to varying degrees. The flooding has resulted in at least 6 deaths and 12 missing persons. Some experts suggest that the casualty count may rise. On Friday, due to heavy rain, floods and landslides occurred in the southern outskirts of Venguth and District, NHAN City, Tuxuyan Province. The extent of the casualties is not yet clear. A video clip shows some people trapped in a landslide, and others cart in the flood with people and vehicles. From Monday evening to Thursday, Longnam and Kamtuk unexpectedly experienced heavy rainfall, resulting in at least six fatalities and affecting nearly 100,000 people. In Andong City, Lying Province, China, a storm suddenly erupted around 1 o'clock on Thursday. Strong winds blew off the roof of a house in Mingxi home, creating a horrifying scene. The video clip also shows the storm causing the outer wall of a tall building to collapse. Residents of Dandong commented, It's even scarier here. After one gust of wind, all the windows collapsed. On Thursday evening, Chengdu, Tuxuyan province, also experienced heavy rain. However, people still lined up to get nucleic acid testing in the rain. The video circulating on the internet stirred public anger. Affected by heavy rain, the extremely high temperatures in some southern areas temporarily subsided. However, in Zhejiang, Fujian, and other places, they continued to face high temperatures and intense heat. In Shenzhen, Guangdong province, recently, a young food vendor couldn't bear the high temperatures, fainted from heat stroke, and was taken to the hospital. According to the weather forecast from the Meteorological Observation Station, from tonight to the day after tomorrow, Tuxuyan, 
Giju, Hainan, and other places will experience a new round of heavy rainfall, which could lead to disasters such as floods and landslides. Dear viewers, recently, many areas in China have been affected by heavy rainfall, resulting in severe natural disasters and flooding. According to statistics from China's Ministry of Water Resources last week, there were 241 rivers in China under super flood alert, and 24 provinces, autonomous regions, and municipalities suffered flood-related losses, totaling about 120 billion RMB. According to comprehensive reports from various media outlets, floods in the upper reaches of the Zhalong River, upper and middle reaches of the Fujing River, upper reaches of the Dejing River, and upper reaches of the Dangyang River have exceeded historical records. Significant flooding is also occurring in the middle reaches of the Yellow River and the Wei River. The Defense Agency reported that flood control in the Yangtze River and Yellow River basins is very serious this year. The Yangtze River Water Resources Commission announced the flood situation on Tuesday afternoon, indicating that the second flood of the Yangtze River this year formed in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River and the Tamhe Preservoir and is expected to peak as the largest flood of the year. The China Meteorological Observatory predicts that there will be heavy rain in the northern and northeastern regions of China on Tuesday and Wednesday. In southern China, especially in the western part of the Sichuan Basin, there will be heavy stormy rain. Floods in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River in China have resulted in more than 95 deaths. Chinese state media reported that 95 people have died or gone missing in recent days due to flooding in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River. There are concerns that another storm will make landfall in the coming days, exacerbating the damage to lives and property caused by the floods. State media, citing China's Ministry of Internal Affairs, said that the torrential rains in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River have affected 16 million people. The water level of Tai Lake near China's largest city, Shanghai, has risen to its highest level since 1954. Surrounding areas are at risk of serious flooding if Typhoon No. 5 makes landfall nearby. Video footage from Chinese state media shows a farmer crying as he witnesses nearly 5,000 of his pigs being swept away by the floodwaters. Wuhan, the capital of Hubei province, has been turned into a large swimming pool due to the heavy rain-induced flooding. Flooding is common during the summer rainy season in southern China, but this year it has been particularly severe, with heavy rain falling in many areas this week. Chinese Vice Premier Ding Zutong warned last month that this year's El Nino could increase the risk of flooding in the Yangtze and Wai River basins. In 1998, El Nino caused the worst floods in recent years in the Yangtze River Basin, resulting in over 4,000 deaths. That concludes our news report for today. If you have any contributions, please leave them in the comments section. If you found this informative, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your attention, and see you next time. Yes, dear viewers, this concludes today's new bulletin. We sincerely thank you and all of you who have been following our news. We wish you and your family good health and happiness. If you find our content valuable, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon in the top right corner of the screen to stay updated with the last news that we will be providing. Now, goodbye and see you again.